This video is part of a series of six videos from the Road Safety Authority on towing a trailer safely and legally. The driving test for trailers. For those who do not hold a full license for towing a BE type trailer, such as a general duty trailer, livestock trailer, or horse box, they will need to pass a practical driving test. Like any other exam, preparation for your test is very important. There are a number of key areas that need to be covered before attempting a practical driving test. Once you have obtained your learner permit for towing a trailer, you should continue to study the relevant parts of the rules of the road booklet, the towing vehicle and trailer handbooks. The RSA strongly recommends you seek professional tuition from an approved driving instructor in advance of your test. Your ADI will prepare you for your test by teaching you best practice in relation to towing a trailer and you will be guided by them as to how to get the most from practice outside of formal lessons. Remember, until you get your own full license for towing, you must always be accompanied by someone who holds a full license for towing trailers and this individual should have plenty of towing experience. You should practice towing your trailer on different types of roads and in varying conditions including driving at night but not motorways. Remember that practice is key. Don't go straight to towing full loads. We recommend you build up your practice gradually. You should start out by carrying out the vehicle checks, coupling and uncoupling as well as securing loads. Then move on to getting some practice towing an empty trailer, a partially loaded trailer and finally a fully loaded trailer. That way you may be able to appreciate the various challenges faced by a driver when towing a load. Both before and on the day of the driving test, you will need to prepare carefully. On the day of your test, ensure you bring along all the required documentation, including your current learner permit for towing the trailer. Your vehicle must display its tax disc, insurance disc, NCT disc if required and L plate. Like your first driving test, the car and trailer test starts off with some questions on the rules of the road, followed by some technical checks at the vehicle. Your ADI will prepare you for all aspects of the test, including the theory and technical aspects. Before the practical side of the test begins, your driver tester will offer you a choice of reversing into the roadway, either to the left or to the right. However, during your practice and preparation, you should prepare to be tested on both. The test will cover approximately 10 kilometers in distance and will include a question on coupling and uncoupling your trailer. Once you have passed your practical driving test, you will be eligible to hold a category BE driving license. Next, you will need to exchange your pass certificate for your full license at your local NDLS center. Once you do this, you are entitled to drive without the need to have another full license holder with you. However, be sure to check with your ADI or driver tester to see if you are required to display novice or N plates. Novice plates were introduced on the 1st of August 2014 as part of the graduated driver licensing system and the new rules may apply to you. If you do not pass your driving test, your driver tester will have provided information that will be helpful to you in preparing for both further practice sessions with your ADI and your sponsor as well as for your next driving test. You will also be given a statement of failure certificate. You will need to keep this safe as you may need it to obtain a further learner permit for your trailer. Finally, here are some additional tips to ensure the day of your test runs smoothly. Firstly, ensure you have the correct category entitlement for the vehicle you'll be using for your test. For example, for this vehicle, a BE learner permit is required. For this vehicle, a C1E is required. And a higher category CE is required for this combination. Secondly, make sure you have the appropriate insurance for your vehicle and trailer as you'll be asked to sign a declaration. Finally, Check that the vehicle and trailer you'll be using for your test are representative of category. For example, if you're taking a test for a BE license, then the trailer must have a total weight of at least 800 kilograms. If your trailer only weighs 250 kilograms, it must then be partially loaded with an additional 550 kilograms so that the overall weight meets the 800 kilogram minimum requirement. Only then can it be considered a representative vehicle for the BE license. The tester can then assess your capacity to tow a loaded trailer. For further information on how to prepare for your driving test, please visit rsa.ie.